from this hotel is where they store like all their stuff. They have a big like a museum there. And this hotel's great. But somebody messed up the room. So Maynard never got mad. I saw the man two times in five years. And if we get on the bus, we're checking out, and Maynard gets on the bus, we're all just, you know, joking around. It was a happy band, but he got mad this day and he got up and he goes, guys, uh I mean we talk, he sounded like helium. He was doing helium like the penguin in the old Batman TV show like eh, yeah. so he would say um he said you know, when we get a great hotel, you're, you're 50 yards from the Gulf of Mexico, you can go swimming, there's a post office, there's a mall, there's a laundromat, there's great restaurants, and you mess up your room, and he points to one of the guys in the band, I won't say it, <coughs> Chris Freeman, anyway, he goes, I said, you mess up your room, now we can't come back here again, and I love this hotel. And he sits down, and now we're quiet because we never saw a man, so we don't know what's coming next, and we're, now the bus is, mm -hmm, we're leaving. And I was like, oh boy. So I sat right behind him at that time, and I was like, oh boy. And he knew I liked stories. He would tell me stories, and he would be a storyteller, and he could laugh. He liked really crass toilet humor, so he was right in line with me. So it was great. So we're quiet, because we don't know what to do. And he turns to me, and he says, amateurs. And I don't know what he means. So I'm like, oh, okay. And he turns around, he went, shakes his head, he goes, amateurs. So, Okay, I don't know what that means. And he says, you want to hear a story? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I do it. That's why you're baiting me, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear a story. And he says, come here, I'll show you. He goes, amateurs. And he points to the back of the bus and he goes, guys don't know how to mess a room up. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, guess you know who could really mess up a room? And I said, uh, I don't know where this conversation is going. I'm going to get a lesson on how to really destroy a hotel room properly, right? And he says, uh, Connie Condoli and Frank Rossellino, who great trumpet player, great trombone player, when Maynard was with Stan Kenton's band. And I was like, really? And he goes, oh yeah, that's it. those guys, they know how to mess up a room. So he says, the first thing you do when you mess up a room is you never mess up your own room. He goes, how stupid is that? You mess up your room, they look at the manifest, they see who it is, they blame you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because how dumb is that? So he was more upset that the guys did it wrong than that they actually messed up their room. So he says, when we were with Stan Kenton, he said the hotel wouldn't give us some hotel. They don't like bands. Hotels don't like bands because thanks to Rolling Stones and those guys, they destroy hotel rooms. So if you call the Marriott and say, I have a band, they're going to, oh, we're, we're booked up. They don't want to play bands. So what happens is the hotel got some argument. The guys didn't get a towel. Something happened. Anyway, they treated the band really bad, so Frank Rossellino, Connie Condoli, one could pick a lock, put the thing in a, ch -ch -ch, put the thing in a lock and pick it, and the other one went out and bought a caulking gun. And they broke into a room that no one was in, and went in the bathroom, and caulked up the drain holes in the tub and the sink, and turned the water on. And then, hey, I'm just telling you the story. So, so, and they, they turned the water on, and they shut the door, and they caulked all around the door. And Maine is like, now. It may be three or four days before somebody goes in there. Whoever opens that door is going to be 10 feet order. He goes, that's how you mess up a room. And then he points to the back of the bus and he goes, amateurs. So this tune is called Amateurs. And it, we're going to get the mood of Connie Condoli and Frank Rossellino sneaking around the room and they later said they would wipe their, their prints off the doorknobs and all that. And they didn't even tell anybody in the band until the band was three hours away. So he goes, that's how you do it, not like <laughs> very disappointed in that group in the band. But this is on. Thank you. 